Captain, I'm getting a high Geiger count of 33 degrees. My scintillation counter indicates a high degree of radioactivity on the same bearing. Contour mapper shows a very unusual formation at about 15 degrees southern latitude and meridian 210. Get some flares in that area, quick. Station one, do you read us over? Roger, RM one, we read you weak but clear. Over. At 123 hours, we are observing the Earth emerging from behind the Moon. We will leave Moon shadow at 124 hours 14 minutes. Our ETA in orbit is 241 hours 27 minutes. After three hours of total darkness, the ship breaks from the Moon shadow into the glaring sunlight to continue on its five-day return trip. The irresistible power of the Earth's gravity has now changed the rocket's direction and is pulling it with ever-increasing speed back to the space station. Start the gyro attitude control for the braking maneuver and give me a time set for firing. Check. At 240 hours, preparations are being made to enter the orbit of the space station. The ship's direction is reversed so that the subsequent firing will slow the rocket's speed and jettison the empty fuel tanks. Okay for firing. Guidance tape 264 inserted. Set firing timer for two, four, one hours, four, nine minutes, 11 seconds. Okay. Joe, set the tank release and report. Fuel tank set for release. Firing timer set. Stand by for power maneuver in three, five seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed the first successful voyage into interplanetary space. This pioneer trip around the moon will soon be followed by an expedition which will actually land on the moon's surface. Even now, construction is going forward on the atomic-powered rocket ship that will challenge the limitless depths of space and solve the mystery of the red planet Mars.